Do you believe that there is only one God and that there is only one way to approach that God? If, yes, if, okay, yes, if. I'm speaking as a Christian here. If Jesus Christ is who he says he is, that is, if he is the Son of God from heaven, if he is, uh, if he really was bodily raised from the dead, and if he was our original creator, I mean, if all that's true, that's what he says, then of course it'd have to be just one way to God. Because our souls would need him, or we, they would shrivel eternally, just like your body needs food, or it would shrivel. I mean, the fact is, my body needs food, or it will shrivel. That's not narrow-minded to say, that's just the way it is. If Jesus is who he said he is, then our souls would have to get him in order to be eternally full and thrive. And if we don't get him, then we would eternally shrivel. So to say uh, it seems so narrow to claim that there's only one way to God, to say that actually precludes the possibility that Jesus is who he says he is. I mean, if he is who he says he is, then that's what, we're, that's what we have to say. If he's not who he says he is, then of course it's narrow. So basically, you have to sit down and ask yourself the question about the facts of Jesus' life and look at that and not, not say, I don't even want to look at Jesus. I don't even want to hear the claims of Christianity because they seem so exclusive. So where does that leave the millions of Muslims, Sikhs, and Jews? Are they sadly and completely deluded? People who never heard about Jesus or never really got a hearing about Jesus. I'm not talking about them because some of those people have heard about I'm talking about the millions of right. Muslims, Sikhs, and Jews mm -hmm. who have heard about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Where does your thesis leave them? Where they are right now, it means that if, they, if there's never any change, they don't get Jesus. If he is who he said he is, then long term, they don't have God. If, on the other hand, uh, the, the, you know, all I can always say about this is God gives me, as a, even as a minister with a scripture, a lot of information on a need-to-know basis. And a need-to-know basis means here's all I can tell you. Uh, unless you get Jesus Christ, who created you to start with, unless you are reunited uh, with him sometime, there is no eternal future for, of thriving. It just makes sense. Again, I'm trying to go back to this idea that that if he is who he says he is, you've got to have him. If right now a person doesn't have him, then he, needs to get, that he or she needs to get him. If, if, they, if they die and they've never, if they, if they die and they don't have Jesus Christ, I don't know. In other words, I, I have a need to know basis. This is the only thing I know. You need Jesus. Uh, I certainly know that God is wiser than me, more merciful than me. And per, I do know that when I finally find out how God is dealing with every individual soul, I won't, have any, uh, I won't have any questions about okay, it. Okay, but if this is the only way to God, and if Christians are heading for a place called heaven, does that mean, therefore, by deduction, that millions of Muslims, Sikhs, Hindus, well, Jews, all of whom hold their faith with enormous integrity, all of them are heading for hell? There's a lot of people who were born in Indianapolis, Indiana, and they grew up in First Baptist Church there, who are also headed for a Christless eternity. Uh, every human being chooses an identity. It's either chosen, it's either based on the grace of God, or it's basically based on your own performance and your own ability, and therefore on your own self. And if a billion years from now you've put your hope in the grace of God, you will be beautiful and happy. If you, a billion years from now you've put your, you base your identity on your own self and your own abilities and your own performance, you'll be miserable. In fact, you can see it even now. Self-centered people are miserable even now, not a billion years from now. So there are plenty of people who are raised Christians. There's plenty of people who were raised in First Baptist Church, but in their hearts have not turned toward the grace of God. People in other religions, unless they find Christ, I don't know any other way, but I also get information on a need-to-know basis. If there's some 
if there's some trap door or something like that, I haven't been told about it. But I, I also don't know, I guess I want to know this. I want to know when, it, when a person says, I need to know everything about how God is going to deal with, in all eternity with all individuals before I can bite down on Christianity. I feel that you actually are maybe projecting your American democratic um, individualistic understanding of you really want a president or a governor or a mayor. You don't really want a king. And I can understand that because human kings, human beings are flawed and therefore monarchy was not a very good approach to things. But, how but if you have a perfect God, perfect king, comes and suffers in Jesus Christ, then at, this, at a certain point I trust him. How is your position fair and rational? Well, look. How is that just? I actually don't know that people in other centuries or other cultures uh, were nearly as bothered about this as people in this room. And you're doing a pretty good job of articulating how, they, how nervous they, upset they feel about this. But uh, this idea that everybody needs to have an equal chance is not something that most people have felt was self-evident. I mean, just because everybody you know feels that way doesn't mean, and that your culture feels that way, doesn't mean you can now come to the Bible and Christian teaching and say, because we Western individualistic people don't like this part of biblical revelation, it can't be true. The fact is, in the Middle East, where people are not nearly as bothered by this idea that some religions are right and some religions are wrong, that's not their problem with Christianity at all. For more information about the Veritas Forum, including additional recordings and a calendar of upcoming events, please visit our website at veritas.org.